welcome back to the anti-gravity room. Today we got our first taste, I suppose, yeah. of uh, Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Superheroes Edition. We haven't tried Disney Infinity at all. I've been a little curious, I'll be honest, I've been a little curious about the game, but not enough curiosity or I was like, hey, I'm going to go get this game, but I've decided... Well, we had enough to hear with the Amiibos. Yeah. So we decided, we yeah, we wanted to try something different. Skylander seems like too big of an investment for us to to worry about having to get 300 figures. This seems like they, they put out like about 20 figures, 20 so figures yeah. a year. They're easy to get. You can get any of them. None of them seem to be particularly the rare. You know the characters. So we're going to crack it open. There's an actual game for it too, which is nice. So here we go. Let's get started with this. We will... Okay. Okay, so we're zoomed in a bit. Just one piece of tape. It's pretty easy. And then flat. Thank you. Get that out of here. Right. So that's the one layer of the box. Gone. This is what it looks like when you get in. It's kind of a sloppy, weird setup. The game's like on its side. There's like a poster diagonally a weird crystal playset piece I guess which is also kind of thrown in diagonally. The only thing that's actually looks proper is the, the figures that it shows in the little see-through window. But the starter edition we got we got Thor. We'll do some close-ups of these in a second. Thor actually looks pretty fucking cool I must say. He looks like one of the Bigger, cooler figures. What else we got here? We got Black Widow. She's in a little pose like she's shooting one of her stunning things on her wrist. Oh my goodness. Kind of neat. They're hard to get. Her. Stuck in there. Iron Man's kind of stuck. We just you really got to just pluck it like you're going to break it, I guess. Iron Man is really stuck in there. But there he is. He's shooting off a little palm thing. These figures are actually nice. Like they, They're pretty cool. They're big. They're about the same level as detail of the Amiibo. There's not a heavy amount of detail in them, but they're a little bit more exciting. Like They're kind of posed neat and they're a little bit bigger and they have cool little bases. But that's what we got right now to start with are these three. Mm -hmm. We got the game also comes in this box right here sealed. Nothing special, just Disney Infinity, nothing really on the back. Just compatibility list. And, uh, what is this, a poster? Oh yeah, it's like a checklist poster of, like, all of the, uh, I guess the power discs that come in the game. I guess they're just, like, items or power-ups or something. And then it's got a list of all the characters you can buy on this side. And on this side right here, it has all the Disney originals, which are, like, Donald Duck and yeah. whatnot. And then, oh, on the other side... A There's a little, cool little poster. Avengers poster with the guys on it if you want to put that up. It's kind of neat. Um, these are the two power discs, which I guess are extra levels or or, or something like that. I guess we'll, we'll find we'll out. We'll figure it out. When, uh, we're ignorant to this right now. We'll find out when we get into it. And then I guess this is the, the portal that you scan them in on. Also, kind of. Wow, he's really wedged in there. Yeah, they got this uh, set up really weird. It's secure. Certainly is secure though. Okay. Oh, more secure. And there's a little starter pack. We can get um, free digital characters. I don't know what that means since we have them right here. I don't know why we need them digitally. But here's this. This is just in like a taped up. So that's the portal. It's got like a looks like a slot on the top for one of those power discs, and then you can put two figures on the portal. Which I imagine is probably because it's it's two player. The discs kind of just fit right on top there. So that's the portal. It's simple looking. It's not really crazy looking like Skylanders. It almost looks like this is like an Apple product. 
Yeah, it's, it's not bad though. It, kind of, it looks nice. Yeah. Uh, we got this thing that was stuck in here. It's like a little. There we go. Alright, so. Secure box. It looks like, uh, oh, it's the Avengers, the Stark Tower, Avengers Tower. And I guess that must be, like, what initiates the, uh, the levels. It must have, like, the scenarios on, on this thing. It's really cool. So, that's all the, the content you get here with the starter pack. Um, we'll do a close-up really quick. So, that is all the content you get right there in the starter pack. You get the portal, you get the game, you get the two power discs, the digital code, the poster, and the three figures. We're just going to show you a quick close-up of the figures um, right now. There's Iron Man right here. And he is pretty neat. Um, my, only qual my only qualm, I guess, with him would be that there's not a lot of fine detailing in the cracks and the mechanical gizmos, but he looks pretty badass nonetheless. What do you think, Lex? I don't mind him. He looks kind of cool. Like. I, mean, I do agree with what you said, but I think it mostly has to do with like the the paint that they chose. Yeah. He just he looks very bland. Yeah. He's supposed to be a very shiny character. Um. What else we got? Thor. Let's do a close up of Thor. Oh, he's kind of. He's kind of heavy. He definitely looks like one of the bigger characters. I'm not a big fan of Thor, but he does. He looks nice. He looks all right. Yeah, he's got the hammer there. He's got the big giant muscles. He looks big. Yeah. Compared to just kind of stepping up on the platform, cape blowing in the wind. No, he, he's probably my favorite of the three that you get. For sure. Mm -hmm. He looks cool. And then who else we got? Black Widow? Yes, we do. Let's see her. She's getting ready to blast. She's definitely not modeled after Scarlet Joe. Like the Maleficent figure looks like it's kind of looks like yeah. Angelina Jolie. She doesn't really look like Scarlet Johansson. But she's blasting off a thing. She's crouched down in a spidery position, I guess. Yeah. So that's the close up of the figures for you. That's all the content you get. We actually got this on sale this weekend, which is when I suggest you kind of buy this kind of stuff because it does get expensive. But this was $39.99 on sale from Amazon. They did a half off sale. And I think EB has one going this week for 30% off. So that's probably a good deal. If you can get this for under 60 bucks, it's a good deal because the figures on their own are, what, 13 14 bucks. Yeah, they're not that bad. So, I mean, it's pretty cheap. But anyway, we're going to show you the first gameplay and uh, see what it's all about. Here we go.